sa maikling kwentuhan with Doc Athena. Ngayon po ay didiscuss po lang po natin yung diarrhea. Okay? So, madaming nagtatae, no? Madaming nagtatanong kung anong gamot. Well, there are many causes of diarrhea. It could be infectious and non-infectious. So, pag non-infectious, usually yung abrupt change in diet, no? So, dietary siya. Kasi bigla kayong nagbabago ng pakain. It could be no na yung shifting niyo from starter to grower or to dairy no ay napakabilis so usually that takes about uh, 3 to 5 days yung shifting niyo ano man yung ipapalit niyo yun yung gradual pagmamalaki no so dapat gradual shifting pa tayo ng type of feeds ganun din kapag magbabago kayo ng brand or baka naman kasi meron kayong dinadagdag no sa pagkain nila na nagugulat yung tiyan nila. So dati hindi niyo naman binibigay. Tapos may nagsabi sa inyo dapat magpakain ka ito ng ganyan or dagdagan mo ng ganito ng ganyan, ng corn or kung ano mang locally available resources sa inyo. So whatever diet or whatever food that you give to your animals dapat gradual po kapag nag-introduce kayo sa kanila para hindi nagugulat yung microorganisms sa loob ng rumen. Okay? Pangalawa, it could be um, stress as well, no? Pwede mag-cause ng diarrhea, alright? So, usually kapag nagugulat yung mga microorganisms, no? Doon nagkakaroon ng diarrhea kasi nag adjust sila, okay? And second common cause would be the infectious. It could be, number one, more common kasi ang parasites, no? So, parasitism, and then second, it's bacterial infection, okay? And it could be viral infection as well, okay? So, yung parasitism, syempre, kapag linabas nyo sila ng napakaaga, well, panoorin po ninyo yung aking isang video about sa life cycle ng Haemonchus contortus or yung barber's pole worm or yung uh, most common no na nematodes or gastrointestinal parasite ng goats okay dapat naglalabas tayo kapag talagang mainit na okay at pag tag-ulan huwag po tayong maglalabas ng ating alaga okay kasi aside from parasitism which would cause diarrhea well the animals could also harbor other infectious uh, bacteria in the field and syempre kapag naulanan nalamigan it could cause cough and colds so, ubo at sipon, tapos yung dadayariya pa, ay naku talaga manghihina po ang inyong mga alaga. So, kapag tag-ulan, please keep them confined. Keep them warm and dry, okay? And, of course, pag parasitism, make sure also um, how are you working with your dewormers, no? Dapat, hindi lang din isang dewormer ang meron po kayo sa inyong farm. You should practice your rotational, no? Yung inyong dewormers. So, Ibig sabihin, pag nag-rotate kayo ng dewormers, you use different dewormers from different families, ha? Like, Ivermectin and Albendazole, pwede yun, mag-ibang family yan, okay? So, kasi may mga families po yung ating mga gamot, like yung dewormers, may benzimidazoles, mga ganyan. Alright, so kapag bumili po kayo no, sa inyong source, sa kagandaan, alamin ninyo, let the, the seller explain to you o oh, anong family to, ano yung pwede kong irating pinto, ba? Alamin ninyo, huwag kayong bili ng bili kasi dapat in, pinapaliwanag po sa inyo yan, okay? Para pag nagka-problema, eh, or uh, expected din nyo kung ano yung mga aaring mangyari kapag binigay nyo yung gamot na yun, okay? And also, yung mga contraindications, ano yung mga gamot na hindi pwede isabay, mga ganyan. Kasi it could cause other problem. Bacterial, diarrhea naman, no? So, aside from parasites, we have uh, bacteria. So, mga E. coli, di ba? Uh, very common kasi yung uh, coli bacillosis, di ba? So, diarrhea talaga yan. Hindi lang naman po sa mga goats, kundi sa mga hogs and um, chickens. And also, you should know uh, ano ba yung coxidia, di ba? Coxidiosis. So, um, alamin din yun nyo yan. So, uh, magbasa rin po kayo about uh, inter-species infection, no? So, pwede na yung, pwede ba na magkaroon ng transfer yung coxidia from one species to another? Cryptosporidia, yung mga yan. So, madami pong parasites, hindi lang roundworms, no? ang uh, pwedeng mag-cause 
ng ating ng diarrhea sa ating mga alaga. And also, aside from parasites and bacteria, it could also be a viral disease. Okay, and um, whatever the cause is, you should address first the clinical sign. Okay, so supportive treatment na tayo. In my box, okay, so yung medicine box po natin, nandyan po yung kompletong gamot. Okay, yung first aid kit natin. So hindi lang po para sa diarrhea. So even the other common diseases, no? So, meron dyan for diarrhea, you could have probiotics, of course, you have to stabilize, no, and protect the good bacteria in their rumen, and supportive care for diarrhea, ano yung nangyayari kapag diarrhea, syempre, severe losses of water, so we have to prevent shock as well. Why? Because shock would lead to death, so yun po yung nakakamatay, no, kaya... You have to give supportive treatments like electrolytes, okay? Then you could, pag debilitated ng animal, okay, so you have to boost the immune system as well. Alright, so merong programa dapat kayo na sinusundan. And sa akin po, no, yung programa na yan, kasama yan dun sa box natin. Okay? So maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikinig. Sana ay nakatulong ang maikling video na to. And, um... Sana po ay gumaling yung inyong alaga. Alright? So, maraming salamat. And please take care everyone. I hope to see you again. Maraming salamat sa mga ikinig, sa mga ikinig kwentuhan. Dito ang ating nga. Hanggang sa muli. Please take care everyone. And God bless. I hope to see you again.